Ha! Welcome, welcome, world. I'm back. All right, man. I'm here to talk about a subject that um a lot of people are wondering about. I'm going to call this Lil Wayne is back. Now, I don't need no background music or do I? Background music or no? Fuck that. Um, anyway, why is Lil Wayne back? Well, let me give you a briefing about Lil Wayne's career. Dude started out 11, 12 years old in the group The BGs with BG. <laughs> I know it's strange. But he started out in the early 90s. Then around, I guess, 97, the Hot Boys debuted with Get It How You Live. That CD was dope. That's when I became a little Wayne fan. I was a cash money fan. Like back in the early to mid 90s, I'd say. I first, the first song I heard from the Hot Boys was uh, We On Fire. And that record made me like everything Cash Money was about. And so Lil Wayne, you know, went from the wobbly, wobbly, drop it like it's hot guy. You know, I had I like the block is hot, you know. I'm a Wayne fan. So when he came out with the Carter, I was like, damn, this is a different little Wayne. This dude's actually spitting. Like he's spitting like a T.I., a, a Jay-Z, not a Nas, but spitting to above average. Carter 1 was dope. Then the Carter 2 came, and it was just like, Lil Wayne is elite. Lil Wayne is elite. Carter 2 was considered, and probably is, a classic record. Because there's not very much filler except the second half of the album. It was pretty much the only struggle of it. But the Carter 2 was dope. Carter 3 made him a superstar. It made him a superstar. Lil Wayne was a star when the Carter II came out. Carter III made him a superstar and a force to be reckoned with in the hip-hop game. And then, you know, he signed Drake, and the Young Money train started rolling. And Drake and Lil Wayne, then Lil Wayne went to jail. So, on his way to jail, he completed two projects. I Am Not a Human Being, which was average and Rebirth, which was complete ass, even though it does have four underrated songs on there. On Fire, Drop the World, Running, and Ground Zero. All the rest of it, that nigga should have made Rebirth an EP <laughs> and just kept it at that. Then Lil Wayne started declining lyrically with his overhauls of the terminology of the woman's vagina. The nigga kept saying pussy every single record. Then the Young Money album comes out. He does fine with that. You know what I'm saying? Then after Tunchi gets out of jail, um, he comes out with an album that took about two years to come. It was supposed to be out around the time of my homie still. My bitches love me, no worries. You know, he had a dedication for was kind of weak. He only had like a couple good songs on that. And, um, you know, you could see the decline in Lil Wayne's lyrical ability. And then he comes out with I Am Not a Human Being too. I anticipated that this project was going to be dope because of the singles. It had three good singles. And then I listened to it. I'm like, okay, this then the second song is whack. Then a majority of it is whack. Like, there are some gems, you know, Gunwalk, Trippy. Um, God Bless America, in a way. Carter 4, I forgot to mention that. Carter 4 was disappointing, in a way, also. It was average. You know, I expected the Carter 4 to be like the Carter 3 and 2, but it was, it damaged the Carter series, in a way. And so, I Am Not a Human Being 2, that album was complete ass. It was disappointing, and as a Lil Wayne fan, you start to wonder, like, damn, this nigga Lil Wayne got fell off. He got whack. Then, once Lil Wayne, I think Lil Wayne, I guess, went into hiding 
a little bit after I Am Not a Human Being 2 because it was complete garbage. And I could understand him for it. So then, I'm listening to the DJ Khaled album called Suffering from Success. And I hear this song called, um, let's see, what's it called? No Motive. And I'm hearing Lil Wayne spitting some of the best stuff that he's spit in a long time. I mean, if you look at the lyrics, it wasn't that it wasn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? Now they bite now they biting my style. I hope it gets stuck in your teeth. I been had the green light, so don't jump in the street. The world's under my feet. I'm just kissing the sky. Tune, what is that shit smell? That's the shit on my mind. And I'm like, okay, it's tune. Alright, tune, I see you. No motive comes out. It's dope. Um then Young Money's Rise of an Empire album comes out. And there's this record called Senile that's out with him, Tyga, and Nikki. And Lil Wayne spazzed out on that verse. He went hard. And I'm like, okay, Lil Wayne, is there a comeback? You know, does Lil Wayne have it in him to actually come back and, and do something? So then, you know... Then there's this other song called Moment on that album, and he's doing doing his thing on that, too. And I'm just like, okay. Then his verse on the record called We All Right with Birdman, that record was hot, too. And then the Carter Five. He said that the Carter Five is going to be an exit strategy for him, and they have to pay him 25 to $35 million to do another album. No label is not going to pay 25 to $35 million to have Lil Wayne come out with an album that's only going to go platinum in today's game. That's, that's, that's a big loss. That's a $10, million, $10 to $15 million loss. He better off selling merchandise. But my thing about the Carter Five, if this is his exit strategy, those records that I mentioned that Lil Wayne was snapping on recently, I would like a little bit more, more of that. So he drops this single called Believe Me featuring Drake. And Lil Wayne and Drake go ham on the song. Lil Wayne and Drake did well on the song. Lil Wayne outperformed Drake on the song. Which means Lil Wayne still has a little bit left in the tank. But how much does he got? Which leads to believe that the Carter Five, hopefully he's cooking up something special. Because I'm going to predict that the Carter Five is dope. And it might succeed the Carter Three. Because he, he hasn't succeeded the Carter Three yet. Or two, or one. None of his albums can measure up to the first three Carters. None of them. I mean, I think one out of the four may have surpassed 500 degrees. No shot at Wayne, no pun intended. But I'm saying this, Lil Wayne is hopefully on the right path to come back. And that's what I predict that the Carter Five will be, a comeback album, and it'll be his last. That way he can close off his legacy with a bang. Because the albums after the Carter Three, his legacy began to be tainted because he kept Forcing albums with filler and not even thinking before he makes some of these songs. Lil Wayne has stellar singles. He's always had great singles. But the rest of the album would usually fail. This is after Carter 3 Lil Wayne. I mean, if you ask Lil Wayne fans, it's like, what have you done for me lately? I mean, hopefully, Lil Wayne will. Close his career out like I know he could close his career out as the champion that he is. I mean, he that span before the Carters and after the Carters doesn't put him up there with the Jay Z's, the Nas's, and the Eminem's. Lil Wayne will never be on that level. And Kendrick, he's probably going to surpass Lil Wayne if he hasn't already. But, you know, the only thing that Kendrick Lamar lacks is experience. Everything else, he has the skills. 
it's just all about his experience and his longevity. Now, Lil Wayne will never catch Jay, Nas, and Eminem, but he will go down maybe in the back half of greatest rappers, probably the, the top of the back half or something like that. Because if he would have came out with, uh, like, Carter 1, 2, 3 type material for his whole career, then you could say, okay, he up there with Hove, Nas, and Marshall. But, you know what I'm saying, Lil Wayne will always be an average rapper. You know, he was above average for like three years. I say from 04 to 07. I mean, 04 to 08. For four years, he was elite. And he was lyrical. But once he started to get popular, you know how when people get popular, they get lazy or they go to jail. Both things happen to Wheezy. But hopefully he can get back on his grind. And start and, and you know and finish his career off strong. Now, if the Carter Five goes down as a classic, they're probably gonna want more from Little Wayne. And Little Wayne always changes his mind, so you never know what to really expect from him. But you beg the question: like, are we gonna get a consistent Little Wayne, or are we gonna get the pussy, pussy, pussy Little Wayne? Only time will tell, folks. But for now. I'm going to say Lil Wayne is back. And hopefully he sticks around and stays. And he doesn't let that dedication for that I Am Not a Human Being series, that rebirth Lil Wayne. I hope he lays him to rest. Fuck you. Have a nice day.